Hello and welcome back to European Isles for El Dorado. So, we are currently colonizing over here. Uh, let me just get back into how we were. Yep. Colony's going well. It's almost made. Once we make the colony, we're going to go and fabricate some claims around here. We're currently fabricating a claim. No, we're annexing a vassal. Alright, yes, we're annexing Mazab. That will give us 100 admin points. Give us a good border of Tunis that we can are we at War of Tunis? Oh yeah, we're at War of Morocco and Tunis. So yeah. It will give us another border with... Oh. Let me start that again. Give us a border with Tunis that we can then attack them in future wars. And hopefully we can get to the Mamluks because they are our rival, if I remember right. It's been a while since that's been relevant, but yeah, rival. And hopefully we can start conquering down here. That'd be a good plan. Ideally, what we'd like to do is we'd like to have a small amount of colonization going along this way, with at the same time conquering down here, so we just get all of Africa at once. Although we might also want to... Hmm, that's going to be a question. We've got... Like, when we get a few more ideas... Uh, where is it? This one? So maybe an idea group and a half. We'll get another colony. And that'll then mean that we'd have two colonists that we could spend, you know colonizing all the way along here but it might be best to split it up and only have one over here and one over here hmm. really depends what we're going with which one do we want control of probably both thing is it doesn't really matter because it's one we don't actually control we can just conquer like later someone else will have taken it and will conquer it so it's probably going to be portugal I'm kind of still hoping that we get that Inherit Portugal event. Or uh, get them in the personal union. Talking of that, we should probably also look at how long it's going to take till we can integrate Aragon. 11 years. And Naples is the same? Uh, ooh, what is that? Yeah, 11 years. So if we were to do that... Yeah, it would be best to probably do Aragon than Naples. Although Aragon has some land all the way up here as well, so... It's probably going to be easier with Aragon, because all the culture will be correct anyway. Is the religion the same? Yeah, it's still Catholic. We haven't... Oh, we've had a little bit of the Protestant stuff. When did that start? Uh, probably not too far away. It's only a small amount of reform desire, like, over the 100% you need. Uh, Centre Ref Reformation. Okay, so there are quite a few Reformation places. I think that's what it's saying. Yeah. So that'll start spreading. Hopefully our two personal new union things will stay in the right uh, stuff here. Oh, yeah, Portugal's at War of Morocco, isn't he? Uh, Morocco. There it is. Yeah. We want to deny him at. It doesn't matter. He already has access to the only province he could possibly want. We'll just say yes. Gives us opinion. Right. Let him go and siege. We can convert provinces. 62 months isn't actually that long for Ifni. Are we making money? Yep. Uh, what's our revolts like? No revolts? Yeah, we'll send a missionary. 62 months is only... That's well, like... 5, 6 years. It's not too bad. Ah, I also forgot we were... Like, funneling these guys back from Africa. When they did their small conquest. We could go and start fabricating claims on Fulo as well, and take that land. And that might be worthwhile. All of our alliances like us, so I guess we'll fabricate claims. We fabricate claims on these people already. That's my thing. Allied with Turn at Tupinamba and Tupia. Okay. Where are those? No idea. Well, there's that one. There must be another one. I think it's probably going to be here. 
when we find out. But yeah, we can fabricate limbs over here already, so we'll start on the Rio Grande. Is that not a... Uh... Hmm. I thought it was a center of trade. Do we have any of those around here? Uh, yeah, there's one right down here. That, that's one that we want here. Baja. Imported natural harbor. Lots of trade power. Once we get that, we could also attack uh, Puerto Guara, and that would be our five provinces. Uh, I assume, let's open up this, lock in place. Looking for a uh, colonial region map mode. There it is. Uh, that's not the right one. There is colonial regions. Yes, yeah, so that'll all be colonial Brazil. So we can create Castilian Brazil. Good. All the sieges are going fine over here. Should finish any day now. Uh, I'll have raw marriage. Have we got raw marriage with everyone? Yeah, all the ones we need to. We'll lose the money opposed to losing a uh, settler. Like, we don't want to lose 400 settlers, that would put it very far behind. Um, do we want something out of Tunis? That's the question. We could give more of Mazab to Tunis, that's what I'm thinking. Do we actually have any claims on it? No. We'll just take their money then. I think that'll be easier. We'll let France take them apart and then take their money. Like, uh, war reparations, probably. Now that these people are finished, I'm actually just going to get them to go and... S uh, no, no, you stay here. Stay. Right. It's going to go and tell these people to siege. Like, uh, de-siege the stuff from Mazab. Just because I don't want rebels popping up and then breaking their country apart. That would be very nice. Okay, so they've got Bar. France are looking very connected right now. Apart from Armagnac, that's uh, still sitting down there. They'll be next to go. Hmm. We might need to backstab France at some point, but they were not really competing with us at, at the moment. Now, we don't want land north of us. We want land mainly to the south and to the east. West. Well, yeah, we want pretty much every direction apart from north. Okay. Colony should be finished in a couple of months at this rate. That'd be good. 51%. Let's go send these people up back over to the sieges. Can we just piece Tunis out of the war? Mm. Oh, no, because we're fabricating a claim. When that guy comes back, we'll end the war. They should not be uh, at high enthusiasm anymore. Still are, though. There we go. We've got our conquest cast spelling. We could just attack. I mean, we probably don't need seven stacks there, and they're only level one. What's their military tech? Two. Oh. We're eight. Yeah, it's probably fine for us to attack. And we have an explorer. We have a conquistador, I think, right? Wrong one. What's this? All right. Yeah, that's our... Um, Trade company. Yeah, we have Conquistador No Name. Right, so let's do the one in Tunis first, because that'll be quicker. They wouldn't accept a white piece? Oh. Well, we're staying in it till they at least accept uh, war reparations. Not leaving the war with them with nothing. Not with that many French troops committed. Um, well, we might as well start the war over here, then. Uh, take Riedrand. We'll just call in 
co-belligerence. Really doesn't make a difference. Oh, and we can see where they are. That's very useful. We'll bring our leader over here. Uh, let's take half of the unit and use them for attacking. Um, okay, I'm going to split this up myself because the what it chose isn't good. Um, that would be better, actually. And then we'll, we'll take the bigger one. Um, we kind of need more infantry to make this work properly. Yeah, that's the only way of splitting it that doesn't give us insufficient supply. We are tech level 8, so we will destroy them. Whatever we do. In fact, if we're going to destroy them, whatever, what we want to do is we want to send the weaker army out to fight them because the natives will be stronger, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. Uh, did not want to open the console. Not that any of the commands actually work in Iron Man. Won the battle. We'll get more troops when we're sieging. We'll just go walk around. Oh, we lost 36 troops in this latest one. It's not exactly, yeah. Uh... Oh, and our colony is self-sustaining. Possibly could have just waited for that then. Tunis are medium enthusiasm. They'll accept whatever we give them now. Just merge those up. Let's go take one down at a time, I suppose. That's kind of a new colour. That must I think that's air. That's the that's their colour. Sue for peace. They would take white peace. We want war reparations. Very close. Twenty-seven troops, huh? For four shock leader. Uh, what's the terrain like? Dry lands provides nothing. There is a river crossing. But we have far, far superior um, maneuver. Six versus 27 just doesn't seem like it'll work. But, yeah, we have so much morale and tactics, I think we're just going to destroy it. Wow, France got arming it? They must have been annexing that before the war. I was like, how did they do that? Because we were... Uh, like, because they're in a war. I'm guessing they were annexing before it. Oh, we have multiple missionaries. Why am I only sending out one at a time? We'll send out two. Do we have one of these that gives us extra missionary strength? Uh, not right now. So we'll just win this battle. Are they at war with these people? Oh, they are. Okay, well we'll chase them. Tunis, do you want a piece? We would like corporations and money. Cool. Anything else? Uh, none of these, really. Nope. Nothing else. That's fine. Be a very short uh, truce. Hundred percent with Morocco. And we can just piece them out next. Seventeen war score here. How many troops do they have? They still have uh, eight. Oh, they're all here. Well, that'll be easy. Right, we'll move these into Fez. When that um, one finishes, we'll move the rest into. Probably draw Harrow or 
Like one of those three. So it's 200 Diplo power to annex, or no Diplo power for three provinces. It is a very cheap deal not to do that. And we'll take war, war reparations, we'll take the money. Yeah, that'll do. Got a lot of Morocco. So you go to Fez, we'll send the other one over there, and we can start fabricating claims on Dra soon. We probably don't need to rush, though. Um, we might actually just want to cancel Portugal's military access. They're not going to like it, but I don't think. Yeah, minus seven. But that's just to stop Portugal coming and sieging that province. Diplotech? Or are we going to finish our ideas? What do we get? Global settler increase, money, another colonist, force limit. It's actually all very, very good. But it might be worth increasing that just once. Mm. Now I'll take the diplo. Oh, no. I'll take the idea when it comes up. That's what I was going for. Stage, uh, definitely going to lose that. You can go sit here. We could... Oh, we can't force a thing because of autonomy. We could force one there. Oh, we should have been coronies. My bad. I still don't understand why the cost differences are so much. Hmm. Seems... Like they're off a little bit. It's fine now. Oh, we've breached the walls, so I should probably leave a siege and just go and attack. We're going to have insufficient supply, I think it's called. Penalty, but that'll be fine. We're going to lose a lot of troops, but we're going to win the fight. And they should have very little. And we'll just chase in. We have finished exploring. Yep, a lot of new land. Where are you gonna go? I guess we'll just send him off to the Caribbean again, because he didn't actually find any provinces. We're just gonna keep chasing. Okay, wiped them all out. They have 2,000 troops. They must be over there, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. Let's go and siege. We can get a new idea. We'll get this one for over uh, land of opportunity. Um, do we want to start a colony? Probably worth starting one right now. Start one in Bahara, down there, or Bahia. I don't know. It's probably sounding a bit weird. It's not going to be Bahara, that doesn't have an R in it. Um, yeah, we'll get the next military tech. We're behind time, so it's fine. Which one do we want? Well, we want the one with the most pips. So, it doesn't matter if they're defensive or offensive, or at least it didn't at one point. So, do we want morale or shock? I think we want morale. Yeah, I think we want morale because we have high discipline. I could be making that entirely up, though. Let's go for that one. I think because that'll allow you to deal more damage to the enemy. Maybe. Having higher morale means you fight for longer. It's basically the most I know. Uh, well, Truce of Telemkin is over. We could try incorporating Telemkin into Mazab. It would take longer to annex them. We could try it. Although we don't have actually, we don't have claims in any event. And we're trying to save Diplo points, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to wait for these sieges. Um, are you exploring? Yeah. What else do I have? Seven transports just sitting around. It's fine. Is this unrest actually going to lead to anything? Probably not. Portugal is still fine with us, just checking we hadn't got another like negatives for taking what they wanted. 
Oh, we did have to cast a spell, eh? But that's fine. Um, that's a new one, I think, Carmania. Or at least being that big. Just having a quick look around, see what the map's like. Seed should finish this tick, yep. Rio Grande. Uh, we'll just be taking all these provinces. I think that would just be the best way to go about it. Take them all and then take this one. And we'll start fabricating a claim on this one already. Just because we'd quite like that. Actually, if they could end the war taking that, that'd be nice. Ooh, okay. Um, natives lose five aggressiveness. And... We gain prestige. I'm not going to lose Diplo power. It really doesn't matter how aggressive they are. Uh, missionary strength or prestige? We'll take missionary strength. That'll mean our missionaries will be a little bit quicker. So 30 months is what it reckons for the, the, the ones that are the same length. Anyway, this seems like a good point to end the episode. Ooh, this is actually a big thing, I think. Um, for the Barakura Beasts. Before we went on the expedition, we heard tales of an explorer by the name of Hano who had found an island populated with hirasut and savage people. Hano had attempted to capture the males, which failed, but three females were taken. Their ferocious nature forced the explorer to kill them and bring proof of their savages. Their skins were preserved for transport. These people were called gorilla by the interpreters travelling with Hano. We assume the ape-like species we found in Barakoa must be the grilly Hano spoke of. So we can get um, lots of gold and they'll gain aggressiveness and ferocity. Or we get Diplo power. I'll take the Diplo power. And this is a good point to end. Uh, thank you for watching. Next time we will finish our war over here. Probably creating a colonial nation. And we'll start working out where we're going to attack next. I don't think we're going to get Mazab done next episode, just judging by how long it's taking. But we might want to attack somewhere over here. Jalal for taking all the land back, which is quite funny. Oh yeah, Portugal at War of Tunis, I forgot. So Portugal might end up getting a Tunis coastline. That's not going to be good for us. Anyway, see you next time. Goodbye.